uh, now <coughs> we will discuss about the dividend and dividend policy this is uh, the fifth unit of this is the fifth unit of uh, corporate financial management in this unit of corporate financial management uh, will cover a few chapters these will be uh, the dividend and the meaning of dividend uh, meaning of dividend that they ha how the dividend is defined and and what are the uh, factors which affect the dividend and dividend policy uh, the type of dividends and uh, what are the major types of dividends specifically uh, then what does mean by dividend policy because different kinds of policies are adopted by the companies so these uh, these uh, dividend policies will be discussed in this particular uh, lecture uh, next the dividend and theories the theories of dividend policy there are two policies of uh, there are two policy of dividend theories uh, one is relevant theory of dividend policy and another is a relevant theory of dividend in this in this discussion we will know about the dividend the dividend basically refers to that part of net profit of a common of a company which is distributed among the shareholders as a return on their investment in the company basically the investors uh, invest in the money in a particular company or the business with an interest of uh, uh, they will be having some profit in this company after some specific time period so this is the basic reason uh, they used to invest money in the company okay now now let's discuss the dividend clearly dividend is the part of company uh, company's profit which is given by company to its uh, shareholders basically dividend is uh, distributed among the equity shareholders and preference shareholders there are two kinds of shareholders which are concerned with or uh, which are uh, having some relationship with uh, the dividend distribution these are equity and preference as the shareholders invest their valuable part of money or valuable amount in the company so they want to get the maximum return out of it but but in case the company pays the more of its earning in form of dividend then the company has to depend upon the outside resources for its survival uh, therefore it is necessary for the growth of company to pay adequate amount of dividend and dividend policy dividend policy means the abroad approach a broad approach according to which every year it is determined how much of the net profits are to be distributed among the shareholders equity shareholders or the preference shareholders as dividend and how much are to be retained in the business for the future growth of it basically dividend uh, policy will let you know exactly about how much the earning of the company is and how this earning is to be distributed among the this distribution part i mean the dividend and the retained earning okay and uh, next lecture we, we next next discussion we going to uh, discuss about the factors affecting dividend policy there are several factors which affect the dividend policy and uh, the, these are as uh, the stability of earnings extent of uh, say distribution needs for additional capital trade cycles Uh, government policies taxation policies legal requirements regulatory and stability in dividend payments let's let's come to the stability of earnings uh, the nature of business has an important bearing on the dividend policy usually usually enterprises or the companies dealing in necessities suffer less from the fluctuating earnings than those dealing in luxuries or fancy goods so these kinds of earnings are uh, considered under the stability of stability factor stability factors okay extent of share distribution as well is also uh, important uh, an important factor which affect the uh, dividend policies nature of ownership uh, affect the dividend decisions a close that companies is likely to get the absence assent of the shareholders for the suspension of dividend or for following a conservative dividend policy like